silk after party. <laughs> <laughs> so, so tell us about the event. Why did you have this event today? Well, I actually started the Healthy Hair Expos mm -hmm. because um, because of my product line, Black Silk. Um, as I started to kind of like bring it um, more to people and educate them, I found myself doing these small little black silk parties. And I was just like, the parties was real successful. I was explaining to them how the product works, what they need to be doing. And then they would ask me so many questions in between. And I, it was bigger than that, than, you know, like the things that I knew growing up, um, a lot of people was like, well, how do you even make a product or invent a product if you're calling it patent pending and, and you're saying that your products do certain things and it can that's never been done before and how are you making it? And I would tell people, well, I grew up on the islands and back home, that is what we did. You didn't kind of go to a doctor. Um, you had a headache, I kid you not. There's, my mother would go to the um, outside. There were certain um, plants and leaves you would pull. You make your tea. Um, if you, if it was injured, it was my mother. She would go and she would get the Epsom salt. She would, um, she get the aloe vera. Pick the aloe vera plant. She would treat our wounds. She would heal us, bandage us up. I mean, we didn't buy toothpaste. I mean, we made our own toothpaste a lot of times. This was just back home. So. So I grew up just when doing these things. So when I came and got into the hair things and I started having problems with my daughter, it was kind of easy for me when I knew she was having skin problems and my son had skin problems, that I was like, okay, I know what I need to do. And I started making my oils. And I had left the industry for a while, so I was braiding hair and I was going to school and I was just making products. And I saw how successful it was. And basically when I would talk at these small black sub parties, it was just I had more to offer them than just about a product. And then one day it dawned on me, I can't keep doing it this small and reaching people. We need to open it up. When we meet, we need to do the expos. And I started noticing that a lot of expos were just about products. And I was like, no, 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 no. Healthy hair is bigger than just products. It's really about taking in more all natural things, um, not only just for the body, but the mind and the soul. And then that's what made me have the concept that if I can get um, all of these things that I believe, like I'm, I'm a martial artist, I'm a first degree black belt, and yeah, girl, not only that, but um, I'm I originally was trained by the um, BKF, which is the Black Karate Federation. Uh -huh. And um, if you know the history of that, you're talking about they train in Bruce, Bruce Lee, if you want to know the truth. So it goes for, far back, and then I am currently with the inner city martial arts. So it was basically, I knew these things, and what I wanted to do was just kind of bring a little bit all together at the expos and kind of have a bigger black silk party where I educate give the advice, share with people, let them learn what I learned, and let them know that it's more than just looking at somebody and saying, well, I like their hair. That's not, you can follow somebody all day long because they're beautiful and they have beautiful hair, but unless you have their mother and their daddy, <laughs> you're not going to get the results. And so that's what the Expos was all about. Today's celebration for me is because this is my second one. We went a lot bigger. We, um, and we are now going to start a world tour with this and I'm excited to just get around and to start spreading the word, sharing black silk and what I'm doing. And this was a celebration for that and it was also the 30th anniversary of the color purple that landed on my birthday. Is that your birthday? Uh, no, the 19th was my birthday. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> Yeah, so it was just, uh, it was so much that it felt like I should have a celebration. And one thing I want to tell you entrepreneurs, if you don't celebrate your life, trust me, no one else is going to celebrate it. If you don't celebrate your accomplishments and your success, don't expect anyone else to. So. And your product is for all hair types? or Yes. Here's the killer thing about it. When I created and invented it, uh -huh. Um, after I knew certain things about the hair, I actually had issues with um, people growing up, you just didn't know what to do, what to use, what to, um, you know, which way to do your hair, which way, what products would do what. So I created a three-step system, 
It's called the Silk Hair Growth System, but each step can be used individually, and they do several things, not one thing. So in the whole formula, you, um, I designed it for all type of hair types. So if you have curly hair, really hair that's dry, you would use the system in a different way than if you have, say, um, uh, say Caucasian hair or really straight hair. Um, it, it, using it in different ways would get you different results. Um, and to make that real, real quick, I'll give you an example. The three-step system, if you, our clear protector, once you put it on the hair, it actually called the clear protector because it would seal all the moisture in. Once you seal in your moisture, it also has a protein in it. It's broken down to the precise protein. A lot of people don't understand that just because something says protein doesn't mean that it can penetrate your hair if it's not broken down to the proper molecules. So what I did was um, create the clear protector to actually seal the hair, seal in the moisture, and when it did that, if you put heat to it, it presses silky straight, like with ease, with ease. And I was actually the very first product that launched, if you did the research in 2010, that took curly hair to straight. Wow. And that is on, you could just Google that for facts. And that is why they call you <laughs> yes, um, I was recognized by innovative technology and breakthroughs for my contributions mm -hmm. and the fact that they thought that I actually opened up a, a different kind of area which was going was the opportunity to go straight to curly kind of when we came out in 2010 then uh, another market kind of opened up for products that actually led to that as well and that's what kind of led with innovative technology and breakthroughs um, honor me on that and I was very honored and I'm happy and yes right now I'm I wear the title very well and I take it very serious as well okay. so you're working on a new movie. Is it in production still, or is it's it in the Nat Turner movie? Oh. That you're working on. <laughs> you're in the movie, right? I'm going to take a role in the movie. Yes, okay. I'm going to take a role in the movie. And um, what it is is um, I have just signed on. Um, well, first let me just say why, and before I say what I signed on to, um, I like to do things in my life. I'm at a point where I just want to do the things I want to do, do it the way I want to do it, and um, educate. I want to leave behind more than just the fact that I was born. Mm -hmm. And um, so really I want generations of people to understand and put something out that's going to make an impact. And that's my goal. And this particular film opportunity came to me and um, they actually thought they was very interested in the way my producing style was and they thought that I might be interested in um, taking a special project like this and being a part of a special team and um, I am honored and I am grateful so I've decided to take yes I am signed on um, as a producer now um, producer slash executive producer um, on the Nat Turner story um, titled The Prophet, written by Kenya K. Um, Kajo, who actually wrote the book, the bestseller book that you can Google it, and about Nat Turner. And um, this particular biopic actually has the family's consent. He has spent, oh my God, um, so much. So this story is going to tell it from generation to generation, not what you've been taught, but what's the family has known and what the generations and generational stories that goes um, towards the family. Okay. And when do you, have, do you guys have the idea when that film will be released? We don't want to sh share a lot of stuff right now, okay. but um, what I do want to say is being directed by Bill Duke, who I'm excited to be with and to work with, and um, I actually... Um, I want you to speak to a couple of the other producers on it because um, it's such an important um, topic mm -hmm. that I just want to share it with you as well and hopefully spread the word. Um, so just look out for it. We have a lot of information coming out and stay tuned.